is up everybody it is your boy 10 once again and if you're wondering why i'm wearing the same shirt as in the other reviews because i'm recording this literally right after i recorded the review of the marvo k980b but this is not why we're here we are here for the marvo what's this called the pulse 60 7.1 surround sound gaming headset from marvo scorpion born for gaming now once again i want to thank marvo for sending me over this stuff so i can actually review it for them in south africa now first of all first impressions as always the marvo packaging it looks insane i like the marvo packaging it looks cool it feels cool it's sturdy it's whatever you expect from a gaming company now let's look at the actual box right this headset have 7.1 surround sound which is theoretically not right like it's virtual surround sound it it, it kind of simulates the feeling of surround sound it doesn't have a speaker right you know right around your head but it does simulate virtual surround sound then it has 50 millimeter drivers that is the size of the actual speakers and the cups and it has a volume control and then it has a self-adjustable headband, which you can obviously, you know, adjust up and down and a flexible mic, which we are gonna test. We are gonna test out the mic. We're gonna test out the, the actual headset. Now, you guys won't be able to hear the headset, obviously, you know, that's, that's obvious, but I will give you the actual honest impressions because I am not biased. Like, yeah, I like Marvel because they believed in this channel when nobody else did. But at the same time, I don't wanna give you guys like a false sense of, what is actually happening now on the front side of the box you have the actual headset which looks like this and then you have the rgb on the headset on the side now let's open the box see what it actually is inside i'm kind of excited like to be honest i don't like usually at least like wired headsets because i use a wireless one here it is and i really enjoy using a wireless headset because i like moving around right i like being able to walk downstairs, get myself something to drink, and then still hear what my friends are saying. But nonetheless, wired headsets, there's nothing wrong with it, especially if you sit here and you play the game. I'm gonna take out the headset itself. This thing is big, it's much bigger than I actually thought it was. And then we have like, I, I'm guessing it's like a user manual thing. Yeah, so that's that's all that's in the box. The box itself, it looks amazing. I love the color scheme, like the red and black color scheme. That's that, that's kind of nice. You have another Marvel Scorpion sticker and then like a quick product guide thing that kind of just, you know, tells you how everything works and what you can do and what you can expect from everything. Now that is basically it for like the, like the packaging side of things. Uh, let's actually move into the headset. Now, first of all, you see a cable that is presumably very long like i haven't even opened the actual headset yet but this cable looks like it's 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 crazy long dude like <laughs> i can't even hold it like on my like in my hand that long it is like it's i want to say this cable is like three meters maybe two maybe three i don't know it is a really good braided quality so i love like the braided cable situation we got going on here and then we have the controller now this controller actually looks different than what i'm used to okay we have your volume up and down then you have a mic button you have an led button and then last but not least you have an eq button so you can change the eq on the fly and i, I don't think i've seen that a lot with other headsets that's kind of strange right now, pulling out the headsets, this was not what I expected. I have to say, this is really not what I expected. We have dinner, which is kind of cool. Now, my first impressions are, I did not expect this quality. For 500 Rand, like, to give you guys context, yeah, this is a wireless headset, right? But, like, the build quality is really cheap. The sound quality is insane. But the build quality is really cheap, and this cost 1,200 Rand to buy. Now you can watch that review as well if you want to watch it i'll put it up on the screen but that is a 2000 or oh, like a 1200 rand headset this is a 500 rand headset and boy oh boy does this look good it has a full metal side like uh, i don't know swivel something whatever you want to call that like a full metal swivel it has the cool cables running out at the back which it looks so cool. I don't, I don't know why, but they made it aesthetically pleasing to look at. I did not expect this. 
It has a super soft like faux leather top with like a sponge on it. And it has the like actual, I, I'm guessing this is like a, like maybe like a sponge and I don't know what's in the inside, but it's, it's really soft and really nice to the touch. Putting on this headset though, how does it feel? Like actual impressions. I'm going to have to, wow, the, vo the noise cancellation is insane. So I'm going to have to like adjust it towards my, to, to fit on my big ass head, but uh, holy, like overall, this feels absolutely amazing. Like I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm probably changing over to a wired headset from, from, from now on this. This feels so, so good. It's, it, it fits really tight. Like it actually feels really tight. And because the driver size is 50 millimeters, it, it feels like it covers my entire ear. Now I've got like, I've got big ass ears. You can see I've got like, like a big ass ear and this thing covers the entirety of my ear. And it feels like it just, it just fits so snug on there. It, it's insane. I, like, I can hear the bass in my voice more than I can hear my voice while I'm speaking to you guys. Now, the mic itself is, like they said, fully adjustable, but not like others that I've seen where you can, like, adjust it like this one. You can, like, adjust it, but it, like, it feels off, right? This headset's mic, it feels like when you adjust it, it actually stays exactly where you want it to be. Now, we're going to test out the quality of the mic in a second. For now, I want to just power this thing on because it is, weirdly enough, just one USB type A cable, which I didn't expect, right? Like Usually you have your the 3.5 millimeter audio jack and then a USB cable to actually power all the LEDs itself as well. But this only has a USB cable, which I don't know how this is going to perform, to be honest. Like I want to... I want to see how this actually performs, but first, let's look at the LEDs on this thing when I power it on. So it's not overpowering, yet it, it looks kind of elegant, right? It has the like Scorpion logo on it. I'm just surprised. Like, I have to say kudos to Marvo. Scorpion, or the Scorpion brand at least, has come such a long way i'm mesmerized by how beautiful this looks like the from the red finishes on the metal which is it's actual metal right like from the red finishes on the metal to the aesthetically pleasing design and then the soft top fitting really snug i don't know how this is gonna feel after like a few hours maybe this is gonna like hurt your ears or something but that remains to be seen. I will be using this on the podcast, hopefully, or maybe on the next live stream. So come and check it out every Tuesday and Thursday. I'm doing a live stream. And if things work out, I'm going to do a podcast this episode every single Saturday night around about 7 p.m. So be sure to tune in with that. But for now, I want to I want to listen to to the actual headset and see what this what this actually sounds like. That's not bad. Now, how does the EQ actually change the stuff? Oh, that make it that made it really loud, like punchy, right? If you press it again, it kind of flattens it out. It feels, and then it makes it really loud again. Oh, now it like pumped up the bass and made it like almost clearer to listen to. And now everything is like really in there. It almost sounds like the surround sound is activated right now. And then it sounds just normal again. I don't know if like they say in the product manual what like everything, like all the EQs are. I want to see if we have anything on the EQs. Um, no, nothing on this side. And we have nothing on the other side as well. So... That's probably one thing that, that I do not like is the fact that they don't actually tell you what the EQs are. They just say there's an EQ on the actual headset, but there's like no way to actually know unless you can get software for this. It feels a little bit concerning because you like you can you can switch between the EQs and listen to what you like. 
but you have no idea to know that, okay, this is bass boosted. This means it's flat. This means it is like a more rocky type vibe. It feels a little bit off, right? But nonetheless, let's actually switch to the microphone of the headset and see what that actually sounds like. This is the sound directly from the HG9067 or Pulse 60 headset. Let me know what you guys think, how this actually sounds. Would you think that this is sufficient when it comes to like a gaming, just being on a game, vibing on a game? Because this is, remember what it is made for. It isn't made for content creators to actually, you know, create videos with it, right? It's made for gamers. It says so literally on the box born for gaming. So would you use this as a headset for gaming? I know most games have built in like equalizers and stuff like that. And you can get something like an NVIDIA broadcast, for example, that actually changes everything. Like you can put on the noise cancellation and the room echo removal, which it does change a lot of the voice and stuff, but it can in some situations help. Like this is like kind of put up to extreme. So I don't know if this actually did like a crazy amount of stuff, but yeah, you can do a bunch of different stuff with the voice itself. But yeah, let me know what you think about the microphone in the comments down below. And don't forget to like the video. All right, moving on. Okay, so all in all, like my overall thoughts about the actual headset. So I want to say for 500 Rand, which is a steal, by the way, for like a decently designed headset, it is a steal. Like it is the same. It, it costs the same as the keyboard that they also released, which I did a review on. And it's like half the price of my decent JBL headset. So for 500 Rand, this is insane. I never expected it to be this good for this price range. Like 500 Rand is still a lot of money for like, a, you know, if you need a headset, but for what you get, at least, it is absolutely amazing. The build quality, they went all out on the build quality and the sound, it sounds absolutely fantastic. It has amazing noise cancellation. The microphone is decent enough to play games with. The only drawback I would say, the one thing that I don't like is the fact that you can't see what your equalizer is on. I'm guessing you're gonna need software for that. So Marvo, if you're watching this video, just let me know how that works. Like if you're gonna have like software uh, for this headset, which that would theoretically just make everything better. And then everything else, I guess, is fine. I like the headset. It looks beautiful. It sounds great. The microphone works pretty decently. It feels good. Like overall, I would give this headset at least a, for like the price range, a nine out of 10. Overall, it would be a solid eight out of 10. This is a very good headset and I would recommend you buy it if you want something that feels good, feels snug, like sounds good. You can use the microphone for your games and if you want a USB headset, then you can just you know plug it in with a USB type A. Unfortunately, it doesn't come with USB type C, so you'll need like an adapter or something for that. But nonetheless, overall, Great job, guys. Absolutely great job. Now, you can buy this headset at eftech.co.za. I will leave a link in the description down below. I didn't get anything out of it. I'm not affiliated with eftech, so, I'm, so don't buy it. Just you want to support the channel. If you really want this headset, you can, however, buy it at eftech. So yeah, with that being said, what do you guys think about this headset? Would you buy yourself one if you needed a headset? Or do you think this is a solid pass? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Subscribe to the channel. If you enjoy my content, I don't only do tech reviews. I do gaming like videos as well. I do podcast type stuff where we just talk about random IRL stuff and gaming stuff and stuff like that. So yeah, subscribe, like. I really hope you enjoyed and go watch this video on your screen right now. Peace out, guys.